वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस भिडियो इन दिस क्वेश्चन उइ हाव टू प्रेडिक्ट दिस एनालग सार्किट ब्लक प्रोभाइडेड दैट उइ हाव दिस इनपुट स्टेप एंड दिस आउटपुट वेब फॉर्म उथ इन टाइम डोमेन एंड यू मे एक्सपेक्ट फ्रम इंटरव्यूअर दैट इट उड टेक लाइक मैक्स टेन मिनिट्स टू एनसार इफ यू टेक मोर टाइम दिस डजेंट मीन बैड इम्प्रेशन बाट the intuitive analysis is uh, like really important like step by step analysis in time domain so let's start to predict this analog circuit block and forget about this uh, amplitude of this uh, step and this output voltages uh, now at t equals 0 there is a start uh, like immediate change or uh, like uh, suddenly change in the output voltage so uh, when this happens in time domain like if there is a zero present right if there is a zero then in time domain there is a abrupt change in the voltages so one thing we have predicted that there must be a zero must be a zero frequency let z on and uh, this z can be in the form of like 1 by rc or 1 by l by r and maybe any other frequency dependent blocks so let's using this primary two components right and uh, at t equals 0 we know kappa the circuit uh, for this input step the circuit feels an infinite frequency so for infinite frequency the capacitive circuit is like short circuited right so if the capacitor is short circuited and more than two capac uh, like at least uh, like more than two capacitance is present in the circuit then there will be a certain jump in the output but if they are present like inductance l let's say at t equals zero uh, the circuit feels infinite uh, infinite uh, frequency and for uh, l it will give like infinite impedance also so there will not be a certain jump in the output so we have like we have zero first tick and the zero is made up of capacitor this is uh, this uh, these two prediction we have till now right so let's make a circuit that uh, has a zero and with capacitor so normal we know this circuit let forgets about this capacitance and resistance values And we can see that at t equals 0, the, the output is changing abruptly with this capacitive divider, right? But this is for t equals 0, 0 plus, let's say. But uh, for this circuit at t equals infinity, the output voltage is like this, all are open circuited. So output is like, like V in, right? and this is plus but in our output curve there is negative output at steady state so this can't be this analog circuit block right there is something else so let's try to predict we know two types of blocks that has two terminals as input one is like op amp like voltage voltage amplifier and another is transconductor right let's say plus a minus a so like if we uh, input if we uh, put an excitation in the in, uh, inverting terminal 
uh, it may be it can be a negative at the steady state right like a inverting amplifier inverting amplifier is having a negative gain right like for this normal we all know that uh, v out by v in is minus r2 by r1 so we can see that at the steady state the value uh, is negative voltage and some multi multiply uh, like some ma uh, integer multiplication of or not integer multiplication of this v in right so if this circuit is not the analog block so if it can be this block and this block now let's start this block so we have to give negative we have to give the input in the inverting terminal now directly we can ground this and we need two capacitor right so that it can be like uh, put low very low uh, impedance at t equals 0 and can be treated as the uh, capacitor divider right so let's start this because these two terminals are present right let the gain of this transconductor is gm and this is c and this is c now analyze this circuit and this is our v out at t equals 0 we can see uh, there will be a uh, like there will be a capacitive uh, division at the output and it will change abruptly right so we can see at t equals 0 there will be a capacitive divider so voltage will be v in into let's say this is cl and this is uh, cc uh, so there will be cc divided by cc plus cl right but in this circuit but as t equals infinity but t equals infinity so this uh, capacitor are open circuited and uh, like this uh, voltage become like floating right like it feels an infinite impedance So for this we know the current here is let's say this is i i is like gm into like positive voltage that is zero voltage minus v in so in this direction a negative current is flowing gm v in but if the rl is not present uh, there will be a negative infinite negative voltages at the output but we have but we have this finite uh, negative voltages at the steady state so there must be a finite resistance at the output of this block right so in the steady state if rl is present then the steady state v out will be minus the current is gm v in into rl right so you can see uh, at at steady state we have this we have this uh, negative voltages at steady state and uh, we have and we have this finite jump voltage at the t equals 0 right and let's see our waveform uh, this so at t equals 0 we find that we have a uh, finite jump at v out and steady state we have a 
negative voltage at the output. So this circuit is like similar to the uh, input and output. Uh, this circuit is giving a similar input and output responses. So we can treat as this analog block. So the analog block or analog circuit is this circuit. So this is this is a transconductance applying step in inverting terminal. There are two capacitance capacitor and at steady state there is a finite negative output and up to this I think this circuit is okay like this is our analog block this is view out this is our analog circuit so we predict the circuit like quite correctly right but what is the significant it means it, this is our input value v in and our output value is first is have sudden jump and then is goes down to the negative so this is actually a right half plane zero and this causes phase lag phase lag our left half plane zero causes phase lead right but this is actually a this is gm sorry and this is actually our right half plane zero zero like we have this sudden change this is this ensured we have a zero in the circuit and this negative steady state value is telling that uh, the zero is right up plane zero you can write kcl kvl or do the laplace analysis you will find that uh, you will find there is a right up plane zero as well and the right up plane zero value is gm by cc this is cc right so if you know the miller capacitance you can easily find this or uh, ah, yes you can find this so this this was today's videos please comment and share if you like the approaches or the analysis thank you